Welcome in, everybody, and uh, thank you for for sitting down with us today on Destiny Digest. We have bonafide hero Sammy Cat, Nope, and producer Seth on the ones and twos. Where to go? Hello, hello. Hey, welcome in. Glad Hi. to have you guys. <laughs> I believe this What's is. Up? I believe this is Bonna and Sammy's. I, Bonna, I think you've been on four of these now. Four, four timer club. Sammy, this is your second one that you've done with us I here. Can. And then, nope, you're a first timer. So welcome, yeah. welcome to the Discord server. Uh, first of all, how is everybody doing? How's your week going? Uh, what are you playing in Destiny Two? We'll go ahead and start with Bonna. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I just, you know, uh, it was a little bit quiet there at the beginning of the year with uh, Destiny. So, for other games, but coming back and just running through everything, there's a lot to do, I guess, to whether it's, you know, even with the extended season, there's things to tick off in your, your list, whether it be seals or, um, you know, um, Lightfall seals or anything like that throughout the year. Tick those off. Um, just came back a little bit sort of stronger running people through grandmasters and just grinding loot, uh, not getting too lucky. Um, but yeah, I, I think, I think since three weeks ago when all of this, these, these dev streams started coming about and, you know, them dropping the new arsenal and all that, uh, there's definitely some excitement. So just take the time at the moment to complete what you need to because next week we're going to be busy, aren't we? And it feels like they're jamming so much in. It's not like it's a brand new season. There's like two months to go and we got a bit of a roadmap for that. So it's just going to be just ramping up for that. Yeah. Sammy, what about you? What challenges are you working I, on right now? <laughs> I am working on um, solo explicator or planets. Uh, one of the middle encounters in Root of Nightmares. It's my first solo raid encounter, and um, I wanted to get it done by the end of March. Definitely mm. did not get it done by the end of March. <laughs> Still got a very, very, very long way to go, but I'm really proud of myself, how far I've come. Um, yeah. What's the, what's the roadblock there that, that you see the most in your play? Well, I went into it February 12th. Mm-hmm. Not really having used solar at, mm -hmm. at all. Um, I didn't even know what Radiant was. Or that there was a healing grenade. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I went in not yeah, knowing me. how to use Eager Edge. And I went in not knowing the mechanics of the encounter. Or how to do anything. <laughs> with a time limit. Um, so. Uh, and I was doing it with all bows. Um, mm -hmm. So. It's been a learning process. <laughs> I didn't realize it's considered one of like the three hardest solo raid encounters. Um, Sammy, I love you. I just want to say this right now. I love you because this is just you. like pure optimism that became perseverance. And I think, pr like, correct me for a moment, now it's just like fight. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that. I love this kind of like steps of the whole situation. <laughs> I'm. I just surpassed fifteen hundred unintentional deaths. Mm -hmm. um, I've gone through multiple thousands of raid banners, and I still. It's really cool because I'm like I never used to be able to connect those two planets, and now I can. Um, I've gotten to damage I think like seven times, Oof. which might not seem really good, but that's like massive. That's a lot. Yes. I mean, that's yeah. huge. Yeah. I was going to say that, like, that many times, like, 1,500 deaths and then, like, only seven times getting, like, yes, unintentional. <laughs> but that many, <laughs> that many times going and then, like, seven times at bat, basically, at the boss. Like, that's insane to me. <laughs> I, I would not have the patience for that. So, kudos to you. Um, nope. What about you? Uh, like, challenges? Or like, I, what are you? What are you doing this week in Destiny? What are you playing? I was actually been trying to do Ghost solo, mm -hmm. um, but I've only done it four times, so I'm not really too familiar with the dungeon. But I've gone to the second boss and got very, very close to uh, killing him, but I messed up on the timer. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I forgot what it's called, but um, 
other than that, I probably would have gotten it. But yeah, I've only I've actually started doing a little bit more like helps. So like mm-hmm. GM helps. Uh, I've done a ton of prophecy helps as well, doing the uh, the farming for the ARs and stuff. So I'm breaking out of that shell of like doing more with the community. But I've been having a ton of fun with it. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah. I've been kind of doing what Bana proposed earlier uh, in the conversation. I've been I've been just eating a lot of my vegetables, d- doing uh, <laughs> catalysts that I <laughs> that I didn't finish up. Uh, for years <laughs> in some cases oh, no. <laughs> and oh. i'm working on um i'm working on a lot of uh crucible catalysts uh current currently i think i'm 100 kills away from vigilance wing being being completed uh nice. and i hopped into iron banner last night into that new mode i forget what the name of it is called what is it tribute tribute i actually I've, really had i had a I blast tried with it that. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of people hate it. I what is I, it? Yeah, so, yeah it's, it's, it's like Gambit in PvP. Like yeah, six, oh. <laughs> six v six, and you kill people, and you get like a like an engram that drops, and oh. you then go pick it up. You can carry. I think it's like ten. I think it's the max. Yeah, but then you have like two banks that spawn and rotate around the map. Oh, uh, yeah, every that thirty one. seconds. Okay. So it's a I node that you go and take it there. Every, like yeah. all day all week everyone's been saying oh it's so crap it's so crap don't play it don't waste your time i freaking love it's like it so much faster <laughs> and i jumped in and i'm like guys why don't you tell me to play this earlier like yeah it was so much fun so, I've, it makes me think of kill confirmed from call yeah, of duty pr- pretty yeah. much it you just it, gotta do something i loved with the, that with the tags, i loved you know? it it's supremacy yeah, with an extra cool. step is what it feels like so you and, have to bank yeah. it so you don't collect it but you have to bank it at the same time basically yeah, yeah, that's that's I smart. I last time. I think it was out like last time Iron Man was out, so I think mm-hmm. I did play that. They fixed a lot of it because last time it was around, a lot of people hated it because there were like a lot of issues with it. Mm-hmm. But oh. they've adjusted a lot of the things, like the timer, um, a bunch of stuff. But yeah, I remember playing it last time. I haven't played this this time, but last time it was not fun. I'm hoping it they fixed it enough or changed enough things that it is fun. Bonus mm-hmm. says it's fun. Dan says it's fun. So hopefully it is fun. But I know a lot of the PvP players, for example, they don't, they don't like it. Yeah. I I was getting a lot of... Uh, I was getting... I, I got most of my Vigilance Wings kills uh, mm-hmm. in that mode versus Control. I don't know what the difference is there. Maybe it's because like more, it turns you around more in on the map. But uh, yeah, I just had a I just had a blast with it, and I was like, well, if I'm working on Vigilance Wing, I might as well also like play the one that is giving me the most either advantage or boost for this catalyst. So it just happened to be tribute, and uh, yeah, I've I've really enjoyed that. Um, how many catalysts have you done so far? Like, how many did you need to do? Um. Is it like oh, collecting years worth? Yeah, collecting oh. years worth of them. Yeah, <laughs> so like, every, almost everything. You're not alone. <laughs> yeah. That's me. It was a lot of Shiro Chi. It was a lot oh, of yeah. the entrance to Grasp of Avarice for some of them. It was a lot of... Um... Altars? Yeah, well, no, I didn't I didn't even go into altars. That would have been smart. Um, but That's I, what I did with mine. Uh, I, I've just been hopping into more Crucible lately. So I just... Trying to get that stuff uh, all wrapped up. Um, nice. Yeah, it's been cool. Uh, so let's kind of get to the 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 main the main event, as it were, of of why I've invited you all here. We have coming next week on April 9th, uh into light. Over the past three weeks, we have received a lot of information via uh, some bungee reveals about. Not only the events that are going to be taking place uh, and the activities such as Onslaught and the return of the Whisper and the Zero Hour missions, uh, but we also saw information about what rewards we'd be having, returning a, a new uh, uh, public space for us to go to, and May 7th is the return for those Crucible maps. Um, so my uh, my first question to you all, like when... I know, Sammy, you and I were in the call when they announced they were pushing back Final Shape uh, mm-hmm. and that they, they were like, yeah, we're working on this thing called Into the Light. 
Uh, you'll learn more about it <laughs> in the in the next few months. But it didn't really feel like they Did had not expect what. Yeah. They actually announced. Yeah. Um, the gravity of it. I mean. Yeah. When you were in the call, what did you what did you think it was going to be? I thought it was going to be similar, kind of a mix between Riven's wishes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember year one for Solstice of Heroes, maybe they did the Redux missions mm -hmm. where they redid some of the missions. So, I mean, taking what we have and just kind of boosting it a little bit. Yeah. Not giving us a ton of new stuff. I mean, they're yeah. giving us, yeah, a lot. Yeah, I w I wasn't sure what it would be. I but I, but yeah, it, it's looking like we're getting a thirty uh, a thirtieth anniversary size content dump with all of this. Um, what's everybody's well, thoughts? Ten years of Destiny, isn't it? I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. What are everybody's thoughts um, initially with this? With this update, what are you looking forward to? I had a question about it, and mm -hmm. I kind of talked with my community, is that this had to have been thought through, brainstormed, um, gotten approval for, financially just executed all of this a very, very, very long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, and the final shape was originally supposed to come out in February. So all of this content, there's no way that they could have just decided when they they figured out, okay, we have to delay it. Mm -hmm. There's no way in that time they were just like, okay, well, let's go ahead and bring all of this together. So I'm wondering, where did this all come from? Mm -hmm. When was it supposed to release? I have a feeling it probably was like talked about a few months prior to like one of the when the final shape would release i i'm just speculating mm -hmm. is this this all this is for free isn't it as well yeah yeah i'm wondering if they were going to pull it from episodes oh maybe they, they could have they I, I had the same sort of questions come my way as well and mm -hmm. my sort of you know, uh, troubleshooting sort of corporate sort of let's let's run down the line and you know, um, fix fix what's happening is yeah. Of course, they knew ages ago that the game was going to be delayed. Um, when was the Sony acquisition? Early last year, and yeah. you know, um, we can go into that for days, can't we? But mm -hmm. you know, I'm yeah. sure sure there was many things happening back then, but to I, I i would speculate that to the wider bungee sort of team um this was all either going to be in new to like yeah i'm going to be in the final shape or it was going to come out you know about now anyway leading us into um into that so either depending on how you look at it it's either been delayed or it's been bought out of the final shape so, which if they've bought it out of the final shape, that means that they need to put pieces back into That's it. That's what I'm wondering. But it's, yeah. I'm, I'm, we're talking about over a year of, you know, the pieces starting to fall in this place at a executive level to yeah, exactly. get to this point. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, you can't just do this. However, we, there's aspects of this, like Whisper, like um, Zero Hour that are returning this could be have been in development for years, mm -hmm. right? Like, yeah. but it's it's always been on the back burner. So when they're like, okay, to the wider team, let's we we need to delay the final shape three months, right? Mm -hmm. So let's grab mm -hmm. these assets that we've been working on for a rainy day and let's bring them out and let's chuck them in for for something to do. So that's uh, I'm sure that's yeah. where all that's come from. And then they've been talking about sunsetting if we look back at uh, uh rid of nightmares where they did the master adept weapons mm -hmm. as enhanced weapons so they've been playing around moving away from crafting for a while to then focus more on enhancing and i'm all for that but i also like my enhanced adept weapons too so 
Um, it brings back, and as a lot of people have said on Twitter or on their so streams on YouTube, that it brings back the want to grind for those certain roles because it's completely random to drop. Mm -hmm. And then they can put all their materials and all their grinding into improving them from there. Um, yeah. So by them bringing out weapons that are in the vault that they know we throth over and mm -hmm. I am a censor me a slut for you know they <laughs> they I, I I go hard as many other people do um you know they they know how we're going to react to all this so mm -hmm. all this stuff even though the wider team wouldn't have known about into light or whatever or anything been delayed all this stuff has been in development and on the back end for years I will add one thing there to what Bona said. I don't mm -hmm. think he's wrong overall, but I will say one thing about the Whisper and the Zero Hour. I don't think it had been in development for years because I think what they did is like maybe, and again, like we're, we're fucking going into conjectures right now, but whatever. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys remember when I think it was Beyond Light, when Beyond Light dropped? There was mm -hmm. like a few weeks, one or two or something like that, where Prophecy was not available. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. There's like reason two, why three Prophecy, weeks. Yeah, and then they brought it back, right? And there's a reason why Prophecy wasn't available during that week. Prophecy, back in the day, was tied to Reckoning. So when you load it into Prophecy, you loaded all the assets for Reckoning type of deal. And this is how a lot of the Bungie stuff is made, is that, for example, Lost Sectors, you, lo you load into a Lost Sector on a planet, or like a mission, like for example, Whisper, you load into quote unquote IO. You have to load the assets for IO. Mm -hmm. So what they did is when they released Beyond Light, they released like a big update for the engine, right? And that required a lot of things to be recoded to the new mm -hmm. engine, mm -hmm. to be ported quote unquote to the engine. So new what they did also host from what exactly, they yeah. So and when, I have a link to that they... TWAB if you want it. <laughs> so yeah, exactly, but. So what they did is what uh, when they did the new engine and everything, they had to kind of rescript or recode uh, mm -hmm. prophecy outside of reckoning. They had to make it its own bubble, and this is what happened. So what I think they might have done, and again, we're just we're throwing ideas, is yeah. that they were like, okay, we need content, we need stuff. They had talked before about bringing back like Hawk Moon as a craftable and like all of these weapons. They hadn't mm -hmm. mentioned Whisper or Har like all of that, but they had talked about. Oh yeah, a lot of these mission weapons will come back as craftable, meaning the mission will come back with it, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Or they'll find another way to make it available, whatever. Uh, so what I think they might have done, they were like, okay, well, we need to fill some voids or we want to create some hype, we want to create some excitement about the game. Let's take these old missions and quote-unquote port them over. And it's easier to port that over than to create something completely new with new assets whole cloth yeah which is why so i don't sense. know bring, yeah. i don't uh, know if it was like stuff. in yeah exactly i don't think it was like in development in, for years maybe it was mm -hmm. for like maybe who's to say so that since the moment they took it away when they took all this content out of the game these locations out of the game which goes into what you're saying because mm -hmm. they had to take these away for that they yeah, say that since they took all that away they haven't been working on it I mean, they yeah, would have maybe. had to... That makes sense with, like, Titan, right? They took it away mm -hmm. and then brought it back. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, small maybe enough. Only a fifth no. of it, though. It was small enough, though, and they only needed to bring back that fifth of it to bring yeah. it back into the game and mm -hmm. change it up just enough for a season. You think, like, you see these, like, Mars, Titan, those things. Mm -hmm. It's not exactly the same, right? Especially, like, Mars, when you compare it to, like, old Mars, the area is different, too. True. Like, it's, it's not, like, a it's patrol... A Right. right. Well, it, it's also yeah. not a patrol, but visually, there's like the blight stuff that we, there weren't there on Ty mm. on Mars before, for example. Right. So they they ported it, but they didn't port all of it, and also they changed the visual, like they changed the skin of it. Let's call it that. Um. So maybe it had been an idea, but I think it also may it could have been something that was in development for years. Mm -hmm. But I think it might also have just been something like we need to add more to this. Let's throw these in because they're a mission that can be contained in their own bubble, like yeah. prophecy, like a dungeon. It, they can be their own thing. They're easier to contain instead of bringing back Io or Mars or all of these things. Although I wish they would do that. Who knows if they ever will? But <laughs> I, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. But I truly wish they did because 
I yeah. think the game needs it, but we're not going to get into that. But like, yeah. I think that, oh, these missions, they were really well loved. Like the community mm -hmm. loved Whisper, community loved Zero Community Hour. favorites. And community favorites, like just, they adore it. It's like one of those, like, you had to be there type of thing. Well, now it's going to come back and so on and so forth. But they're like, those are going to win, win us brownie points. They're going to win us like the favor of the community for that. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add other stuff. Again, it's the same thing with some of the weapons, right? Like a lot of the yeah. weapons, like, are in game. Fan favorite. Yeah, they're exactly. fan favorites. A lot, of them, a lot of them were already in the game. But uh, Sammy, what were you going to say? Yes, so sorry. All of the stuff that they had put into the content vault before Beyond Light, I mean, there was a ton that we mm -hmm. had lost. <laughs> a ton. Mm -hmm. But when they switched those scripting hosts they did have to recode a lot of things they had to bring in artists to update the skybox lighting they had to yep. redo lighting for everything um yep they they would have had to do that while also building everything for beyond light giving exactly. us all of that additional content that mm -hmm. we had um so them two things with bringing things out of the content vault i know that's a whole different discussion but mm. they would have to go through the older content recode a lot of it go through the art assets go through lighting go through some rigging i mean they'd have to go through everything oh, to port it over and then on top of that uh do you know like how big the game would be the game would be massive 100 mm -hmm. percent <laughs> so if yeah, we got all of those raids back if we got mm -hmm. all of those missions back it i'm shocked that they gave us two old exotic uh quests i am mm -hmm. shocked and my only thought is maybe they were going to give us one this episode this upcoming episode maybe one the next episode mm -hmm. to hold us over because the episodes are going to be longer mm -hmm. um that was just a thought but i so mean if they were to bring everything back, that would take up resources. That would take up space. Mm -hmm. They lost, yes. what was it, 11% or something of... is something like that. Yeah, something but, like that. Down, down, and then moving issues. over to Marathon, uh, it, yeah. it's not feasible financially. It's not feasible technically. Um, well, it I could miss it, be, but, but the engine is also being updated, right? We have to think about that. Mm -hmm. We have to think the engine keep, keeps getting up. It's an old engine. Like it's, it's a, a 20 really something old year old engine. Like it's a Tiger mm, engine, yeah. right? And people keep saying like, oh, they should move to another engine. Like, no, I don't think they should move to another engine. Like that's just completely bonkers. That's even more work than to try to update the engine they mm -hmm. already have. Mm -hmm. Because they've already invested in that engine and it's their own stuff and whatnot, right? But yeah, just just update it. Do what uh, just James Cameron it, right? and Star like, Citizen did. Exactly. So I think that that's fine. But like, we also think about, okay, the engine is being updated. How does that optimize everything? Yeah. Because maybe it does optimize everything, right? Maybe they are also changing how the file processing is doing. Like I, again, like we're, we're very just, yeah, it's all speculation. Right like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. We're deep in speculation like, territory, but like one of, that's Anyone one of those things where you have hat? to, I used to. <laughs> You're right. That's fair. But also, like, maybe it makes the game more optimized. Maybe it makes it so that the game doesn't have to be, like, mm. insanely huge because yeah. maybe that helps. Yeah. I, I truly hope that's one of those things because one of my biggest gripe, and I keep saying that all the time, and Dan is tired of me saying that, but <laughs> one of my biggest gripes about Destiny right now is the replayability of the game. Right. There is very little replayability, right? And if you bring new people in, it's not it. I'm, that's right. the nicest way I can put it. But like the new light, like version of Destiny currently is not it. Right. And I'm going to leave well, it at that because otherwise I can be very mean about it. Luckily, so, you say that because they're changing it. Yeah, they're changing yeah. it. I yeah, like. I think. Real. I think it's a. Pro I honestly think that that's probably a better way of doing it instead of like having a bunch of missions where you just kind oh, yeah, kind of no. learn the ropes of your ability and just unlocking one and getting right in with a buddy. I feel like that's probably. The better the option. Pokemon Go starter, but, basically. Yeah. You choose you yeah. choose one and... Yeah. Going uh going back to like when we think this all started, um, I know back so April fifteenth was the day that um I believe it I think that was the day that Joe Blackburn addressed the PvP community. Um shortly after they did the uh the director's cut for right before the announcement of final shape or 
before the the grand reveal of final shape on the 23rd Mm -hmm. i'm almost wondering if it didn't start like around that time for into like maybe because production being what it is we know that it takes a longer amount of time uh and that anything that comes out is the light from a distant star that (laughs) that burnt out probably thousands of years ago or nine months ago who Mm -hmm. knows but it could have been something that they had in in the plan from the get-go of like okay we're we need to we'll probably need to get engagement up for final shape um since we're since february is a long way off right and even if they had known that they were going to be pushing it all the way back to june back in august they knew that they would have to have something that would get engagement up right before in order to um in order to kind of like coast in rather than like have a hard start yeah yeah and this kind of thing feels like it fits into a marketing strategy of like you know there's going to be a lot of nostalgia around the final shape it's a 10 year 10 year payoff on a story that's been going as long uh pulling pieces uh from the history the much loved greatest hits bangers uh that the community has loved pulling those out right beforehand bringing back some weapons that people enjoyed like i'm really looking forward to the uh the weapons that came out of season of the forge uh Mm -hmm. i'm glad to see those back yeah yeah yeah. those are going to be super cool i it feels like they're they're playing on that super hard beforehand which makes me think that it was a. It was at least in the plans before all this. Could be wrong. Probably am wrong. I'll just operate <laughs> on that function. But <laughs> you'd have to be a certain type of ignorant to believe that Bungie doesn't have contingencies. Yeah, yeah. Things. Oh, one hundred. And ultimately, we many people have their their comments about Bungie and. You know, uh, especially all this stuff that's coming on. It's not over here, but all the stuff that's come out from all these articles and these leaks and the conversations following on from the layoffs last year, because I believe that was a really big turning point for yeah. community division. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. In saying that, the, they can't not have a contingencies or, you know, okay, this plan's not going to work. We're going to try a uh, plan Charlie, you know, like mm-hmm. it's, mm-hmm. Yeah. it's, there's there's stuff and there's going to be stuff that we never see the light of day like what do we hear about that sort of dating thing that a dev had put oh. to execs right <laughs> like there's stuff that we'll never see the light of day for yeah they do never game hear game about stuff that. like yeah. but you, you'll hear you'll you'll get this from any developer mm-hmm. out there any any publisher any uh any production company that creates a movie or a tv series or you know your favorite book series you'll there's so much going in the background that all we can do is sit here and speculate. But yeah, it's it's not just a in the last no. in the last like nine months they've chosen to do this mm. and then pulled so, it out yeah. of we thin to, air. Yeah, and we have to keep in mind that currently Destiny is the only known money maker for Bungie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like they're not gonna pull the plug on that. Like they have to keep this game they going. They can't. Like yeah, exactly right. They, they have just, to keep this game going, can't. and they have. <laughs> They have to make it work somehow, and like I they have to. Them. I mean, fair, but like I've, I've also like they have to. Too much bright keep... dust, too much silver. <laughs> fair, <laughs> right? Let them. Same. But like it's it's one of those things where people keep forgetting that that like one way or another, Bungie has to keep Destiny going. Mm. And for a while, people were kind of letting maybe not letting go of the game, but putting the game aside for a while, right? Because they're like, I have nothing to do, nothing interests me. There's nothing that engages me in the game. And engagement is something they need to bring in the money because that's how it works, right? Mm-hmm. So I think that's also like kind of their, like you said, they have to bring in like interest and engagement for Final Shape, but they also need to get back into the good graces of the community because yeah. they've been having hard times with that lately for mm-hmm. multitudes of reasons, right? Where they're like, the layoffs are like just the game feeling stale and like mm-hmm. not really having one of those things. I was having a conversation with somebody recently. I don't remember who it was, but like Des- like Bungie used to be great innovators in the gaming industry, right? They were one of the few ones that started with crossplay. Mm-hmm. They were one of the the first ones to have crossplay, right? Uh, cross save and crossplay. And then they were one of the few, like they, they kept innovating, like they they kind of build the basis for a game as a live service. We all hate it now, but still, 
back in the day that was new that was cool and like Bungie kept innovating in these like in those things sometimes they were not the first but they would take an idea and like go further with it sometimes mm-hmm. or so on and so forth and they were recognized they played that they were yeah exactly they were loved for these things mm-hmm. right they were like love for they being played. innovators or pushing or so on and so forth but for the last few years we've all kind of forgot that they used to do that and i think that they themselves forgot that they used to do that and they didn't they haven't really innovated in any way shape or form which is sad but they have to kind of go back to that now and i don't think this is what they're doing right now but hopefully that gives them back the little kick of like okay we're gonna go back to what our roots used to be and go back to getting the community on our side because the community was like hardcore for bungie back in the day yeah i remember that I think the Bungie that that everybody remember. I, I came on with Destiny, so I I don't have mm-hmm. a nostalgia for for Halo or or Me Marathon neither. or any of the previous uh, IP that they created. Um, but it seems like it, my guess is that when you when you kind of like strap into the horse of a ten year plan, uh, yeah. you're go- you're you're going to kind of not grow stale, but you have a formula for how you do things. And that formula, if it changes in, in as it's changed in a lot of minute ways uh, over the mm-hmm. past 10 years uh, and with different expansions that vary in quality with, with 10 years and with yeah. it being a connected saga, your best is tied to some of your worst. And so it's, 100%. it's just how, how that goes. I think the inno- innovation wise they probably have the best shot at it with marathon. Um, and uh, I think they're, they're still working on um, what's the other one. Uh, they still have right. that investment from 10 cent that they need to make good on, which was, I believe like some sort of mobile game. Yeah. Um, so who knows, who knows about those, but um, that what's funny is that we're talking about games as a service and like the, the fact that like people dislike those uh, or maybe the way that they are right now. Um, but there was an article that just came out today by Zach Zweizen on Kotaku uh, saying that 60% of playtime in, in 2023 went to six year old or older games. New got new yep. data shows. So believe uh, it. Yeah, the this uh, the subline is a report shows that while the industry is growing, its biggest competition is Fortnite, GTA, Call of Duty, and Roblox. So, like Sony's investment into Bungie to to purchase it, like speaks to something that is happening in the industry uh, right now, and we'll we'll see how it pays off for Destiny um, with Final Shape. But when it comes to like um, the activities and into the light, are, is there anything that you guys feel like you'll be playing two months after, three months after, four months after? After into the light or yeah. after final shape? After after into the light drops. I I feel I, like I think it's a good turnaround time, mm-hmm. especially since they've announced they peeled back the drip feeding um, in the last week. Mm-hmm. I think it's a good good plot of time to basically say all right let us jump in let mm-hmm. us smash out into the light over the next month because it feels like there's going to be a lot i'm actually already getting a little bit overwhelmed a little bit shaky <laughs> but then we're, we're going to go into so the whole point out. Yeah. so stressed <laughs> out i'm not even joking i'm so stressed but out like right this now. happens every pre pre dlc <laughs> mm-hmm. right that's the thing i i think the most excited i've ever been was for witch queen prior yeah. to witch queen yeah. and the farming i did and the the prep I did going to that. And then I'm like, yep, cool. I'm going to ride that energy. And I was just going off that nostalgia going into Lightfall. And then Lightfall, you know, depending on who you are, it just didn't hit Mm -hmm. the same way as Witch Queen. So, but it's, it's like, it's been brought back for me, that Witch Queen forsaken feeling Mm. of, of pre pre pre-launch. So we've got a month to really smash out by the looks of all this. We've got, you know, final shape coming out beginning of june it's not long before yeah. we know it's going to be fucking christmas like it's <laughs> it's going to come along so we have that there's yeah. there's a lot of stuff there what i need we almost like need clarification on like does anyone know that if all this brave arsenal on all this stuff goes away when we go into final shape 
No, it sticks around. It stays, stays around. around for good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. It's the the only thing that ornaments doesn't the is the ornaments, ornaments are going to go away. The yeah. Ornaments. yeah. Okay, cool. Those are that's not that's stay. fine. I'll, I'll have my cry about that at another stage. But it's, it's <laughs> you know, that, that means you get in now. You do your, your, your final shape prep. Uh, if you're day one rating, if you're playing the game day one, if you're a content creator, if you're going to take the day off work and play with your buddies, there's still there's still a lot to do and there's a lot of hype behind that. So I think the next two months we're settled. Month following, we're playing the freaking game. We're yeah. grinding through that. We then have episodes launching. So I think that's people are going to be around to see what the new like model is for the game. You know, what to expect. Mm -hmm. Things are going to change. UI is going to change. The way we do things uh, operate in the game is all going to change and it's going to set a precedent. So I think we, I, I don't see myself playing anything else for the next three to four months mm. other than this. But then, you know, how, how quick do these episodes come around? It's like have six weeks. Don't. You get like a new yeah. chapter in the episode. Right. So yeah, we've got that. So that will keep people coming around. But we all know that it's okay to step away from the game. And once we get to that point, keep coming back when, if we need to, and mm -hmm. just hope that Bungie do what they've done actually many times before and turn it around. Yeah. I'm hope that's what I do. I mean, I, I play other games while in like this dry state mm -hmm. because of how long this season is. I've been playing other games while playing destiny as well. Exactly. Like, it, like I stream it a lot still, but when I'm like off stream and stuff, I take my time and not try to get burned out on it. And I do like uh, Call of Duty or Dead by Daylight right. or something else. You know, I always say, say like play other games while in this like state. Um, but I'm 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 really excited for Into the Light, and and the final shape actually. I really hope it hits like Witch Queen did. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I'm one of the few that actually did like Lightfall. But not like it's not my favorite. Casper. Yeah. <laughs> Someone has a different yeah. opinion. Judging. Judging. Get him. <laughs> Judge me. But yeah, I'm I'm really I'm I'm really excited for what's coming, especially uh Hammerhead. That's my favorite one. Mm -hmm. I will say though, mm -hmm. is the hung jury situation. Don't yeah. don't, don't, don't I, start I will say, I will say I, hate I wish it was Kindled Orchid instead. I mm. wish they brought back a different black armory weapon than yeah. something that we've had like six times already. That's like my only issue I have with this, I guess, is be is that. But other than that, yeah, I, I'm really excited. I would have brought back either the ringing nail Ooh, or the spiteful fang or the Tatara's gaze because mm -hmm. they already have two hand cannons. So for like we have to forget oh, about yeah, Kindle Orchid for sure, 100%. Unfortunately, I love Kindle Orchid. I still have mine. I have the curated rules still in my vault because I refuse to let go of stuff. <laughs> um, same. I'm the same. It's bad. It's bad. I should show you like my, the archived version of my vault. <laughs> it's bad. It's really bad. And like I have fights about that with people. It's very funny. Anyway, same. <laughs> like Tara's gaze. I, I know a lot of people really love. I think that's a sniper, right? Like a lot yeah. of mm -hmm. people love that. And then the spiteful fang, like the bow was also very fun. Or even the yeah. ring nail was also a scout that people really, really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. So if it was like I wish Black it was armory those, weapon. Yeah. yeah, I would have done that. But what I would have also maybe have brought back, that's just my own personal wish, would have been a uh, Steel Feather Repeater from Season of Dawn. Ooh, oh, my yeah. God. Season of Dawn weapons. Yeah. Oh my I forgot heart. about the, the sidearm was good. I know, too. right? right? I... The Patriot yes, exactly. Lost Causes. You had the. They had um, so many great weapons. The shoddy, um, like Saint 14 yes, shoddy. Saint, yeah, yeah like, even Saint 14. Like one of those like, weapons mm -hmm. instead of Hungary, because it is a hot topic right now in the community. And I fully agree with the community on that one. I don't agree How with the community. How many versions of Hungary we had? This is like the Too fourth. Too many. Like, yeah. It's the fifth. It's, like, it's the fifth version. Yeah. Fifth, right. It's a lot. Because I, I, was, I was counting the other day how many freaking different skins I have on Hungary have... Adept from GMs. I'm like, mm -hmm. we also have too many DMP variants as well. DMT. There's a nightfall version and like all of that. Yeah, I, I, to me, it's yeah. a waste of a weapon to bring back. There were other weapons mm. they could have brought back from that. I can't like, remember what well. weapons were on it, but there was actually a, I think it was a Bungie dev who tweeted it and they said, these are the weapons that were considered oh, that we yeah. didn't bring back. I can't remember who, oh, who I hope what was on it. But... I hope in the future they do bring the others back, mm -hmm. you know, like other Black Armory, since they're too. already bringing some. You know, there. I I have hope that they will eventually be yeah. brought in, hopefully for the final shape or, um, sometime in the future. 
Yeah. You know, uh, it's, it's, why not just stop there? Like, you know, bring back, yeah, the Dawn, bring back the mm -hmm. Black Armory, but also put your fingers back into those raids that we've lost as well. Like they've True. already, they're bringing yeah. out Midnight Coup, right? Give me my bloody yeah, threat level from, well, from Scourge or bring yeah. me my... Leviathan. Yeah. Bring mm. all of Leviathan back. If well, you think about it, kind of even the idea of those contingency plans, if they brought back everything we wanted now, what would they have to bring back later? Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. Wait, okay, okay. Fair. Oh, they'll just bring back Hung Jury. Is after all the they they gave Jury. Us everything now, <laughs> they'll, they'll just bring back Hung Jury again because we don't have another enough. That's true. true. That Hung is Jury, true. I didn't think about that. Hung Jury the expansion. Hung Jury SL7. They brought back everything. That means that they just would focus on bringing in oh. new things. True. We'll okay, how many new ideas? To, like, how many you know, new ideas? Do I you don't have? think so. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, to I me, don't think they can just... give us as much new stuff as we want. Mm -hmm. And it's that's like, fair. That's I don't fine. think they'd be able to actually provide that. Oh, is this I mean, the biggest? Is this the biggest want... drop of of weapons that we've received in quite some time? Like even season wise, uh, other other than like so. an expansion. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Taking expansions out of it, yes, like, yeah. Well, these weapons oh, there, there are was... the top dog, too. They are the most famous yeah. weapons since there was they've season been released. Of, season of Deep, they brought back the Reckoning weapons, and then they obviously yeah. reskinned them for, like, Taken versions, mm -hmm. like uh, Strand and Stasis. Um, yeah, sure. So they did that. So if you want to count that, then, yeah, that was a really big drop last year. But mm -hmm. People but, were excited I mean... for it, but they didn't really put in good perks i think and that it kind of like died down yeah, no, I they, think. They, 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 they 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 yeah and then um spell Sam, they bring back everything, for them bringing back other weapons then they can back they were bringing back bring those. destiny one and destiny two you know <laughs> I th you gotta stop riding <laughs> that train i don't think it's ever gonna happen <laughs> so i know that i know i'm joking but like technically technically all of destiny one is technically into the vault mm. Well, they had said specifically, and I don't know where it was, if it was a blog point or blog post, if it was a TWAB, um, they had said bringing back a PV or a Destiny 1 Crucible map costs the same as making a brand new one. Mm -hmm. Oh, 100%. So 100%. would we rather get something that's, and that's different than porting things from yeah. earlier destiny 2 oh, yeah, but yeah. it's like would we rather get some destiny 1 content i'd rather that get they new basically stuff. have to redo i'd rather get new stuff the 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 new maps look super cool um that were revealed yesterday so i, I really well, talking about I maps, like right for sure one. but like yeah if we're talking about like strikes oh like Ooh. some of the new strikes i don't personally enjoy one of my favorite strikes are actually d1 strikes devil's lair saber Nav like Navota, which was you know, the other thing, the, the disgrace. Some of those are some of my currently favorite strikes because a lot of the ones that I liked are in the vault now. <laughs> Would you look at that? Abathoon song. Um, my heart. Abathoon song. Good one, yeah. Zol, voice of a, a thousand voices or whatever, mm -hmm. like the, the voice of a thousand, that one. Zol, um, even freaking Nocris. I miss Nocris. I didn't really like oh, Nocris. Did you miss Nocris. the Zol one? Though? Like, the... I, miss, I miss the Zol one. I do. Okay. I, wasn't, I, uh, I mean, fair enough. Yeah. Can't so judge. it's like one of those things where like <laughs> she's like i didn't like those <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like okay do do we bring back like the, the the pdp one i fully understand because you're like oh well new maps and the new maps are beautiful i yeah. would fully agree with that but oh, it's like yeah. oh the strikes or like the story parts or the raids because they they have brought back destiny one raids into destiny two mm. right so it's there's only one but... that's not how i don't know if that one supported them yeah. yeah i don't know we're, that one is a big if. We are seeing a new event or a new activity called Pantheon coming uh, on oh, April yeah. 30th, which is like mm -hmm. the raid boss rush. Um, I've seen a lot of a lot of people excited about that. Even Glad posted about it on Twitter yeah. um, when it was announced. I think that yeah, that's I saw someone being like, oh, this is big enough that Glad's going to be yeah. <laughs> Destiny he's 2 streamer in there. again. I was yeah, coming in there. <laughs> I was in Broman's chat and we we had a long talk about like kind of his experience as a Destiny streamer. How he's he was very adamant as of like, 
look, I'm not the person that's going to be coming back, but <laughs> like coming back as like a full time Destiny guy. Like that's just not going to happen. But um, things like Pantheon were tempting enough to them to uh, yeah. to come back with their old raid team and try to knock out some things. There's speculation, like if we're gonna get like old raid bosses or not too. Mm. Like I kind of hope mm. so, but I don't think we will. Yeah, um, I wouldn't hold I your breath. I think that would spark a lot of like, oh, bring back Scourge if like Insurrection Prime's in there, for example. Like, because mm -hmm. we got Galron's Nightmare, so it's like, why not put in Crown? Like that type of situation and talk, but yeah. it'd be awesome. But I think it so, might be just what we have now. Yeah, I've, you know? I've, I've said for the longest time that they could never bring Scourge back because it would make no sense to players that have come in since they vaulted. Mm. Um, because we have the Elixir Quarter, which mm -hmm. is gone. Is there. That, that is, people, oh yeah, gone. right. The Elixir Quarter, gone. but people, it's more <laughs> recent than Scourge, yeah, and it's in the story yes. more recently for True. people. So right, what? that that's there. But you you've got you've got Scourge, but that is where Scourge took place. So people come in and they start fighting Elixir Quarter. Like, what the fuck is this? Is this a, like is this a dream? Right. So I've always said they'll never bring Scourge that, back. Yeah. Right. No, but but with Pantheon, with Pantheon, it would make more sense because if we just jump back into like, you know, boss or however they're going to do it, boss then it is, it is yeah. more of that, that, uh, but you can argue the same with Destiny Devils lost there. in time. You can with argue what? the same with the old strikes, like Devils there and the old strikes. Like mm -hmm. they're, yeah, they're have... bubbles of time. Vogue is the same thing. That, that is, they're like, yeah. Vogue is different. Lore wise, yeah, Vogue fair, is but different because still... Vogue never <laughs> happened, always did happen, and will happen. I think we're pretty far down the lane, though, of everything kind of happening in continuity and destiny. Yeah, too. No, that like, this is gone. Yeah, I, I think if they were to bring back Scourge, um, or Wrath of the Machine, or Leviathan, now, like, would I want to see changes? Yeah, would they happen? Probably not. They probably. Like they might be some like little nod or allusion to it, but I think even that's a little bit much to to How kind cool. of expect at this time. It would be cool to see stuff come back though. But I like still a, have Leviathan, the a Leviathan from the seasonal haunt or whatever that season was. Mm -hmm. A Leviathan that's taken over and festive with the spores and the uh, scorn and everything. Mm -hmm. But it's Leviathan, but it's scorn. Yeah. And like I don't Shadow Legion, like I'm a re rehash oh, version. Me. I liked that area. I don't know. I lived in that area for a while. Yeah, we do. <laughs> but um, yeah, like so. Pantheon sounds good. I think onslaught sounds like a good activity. Like um, yeah. especially for folks who are looking for a challenge. And it seems like we're going to be. They've they've said that we are literally going to be showered in loot with with that activity. Mm -hmm. um, Remains to be seen. I, I hope mean, it's yeah. like Borderlands. It just comes out and like just rains on you, like yeah. with the guns, you know. More Borderlands two <laughs> than, <laughs> than oh, Borderlands so good, three. So good. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, like it, it does remain to be seen because they wouldn't open the the boxes <laughs> in that in that activity. But, oh yeah, um, true. <laughs> it seems it seems like it'll be fun and like I, I like the idea of um. It going for 50 levels, it seemed like the first few levels took like 10 minutes. Like for every 10 levels for the first few, it took like 10 minutes or something. And eventually there's going to be like a <laughs> darkness zone that keeps you from respawning and then hampers your your progress as you as you push forward. But it, just, it seems like a fun activity that you can kind of like throw yourself at again and again and still get something new out of it. Outside of that, yeah, we have the Whisper and the, and the Zero Hour missions. Yes. Uh, we talked a little bit about the the um, brave arsenal. One thing that I wanted to touch on um, is that we are getting forbearance and succession for players who maybe do not own the the tie or the um, entitlements for vow the disciple and for uh, uh, yes, for deepstone crypt. Um, everybody here, I think, has some has a lot of pve experience uh a lot of raid experience how do you see that change where taking raid weapons that are still kind of in the game and repurposing them for an activity like this? i'm kind of fine with it because it's like bungie must see those as like integral weapons mm -hmm. like to to a lot of activities 
um, and very sought after in the game. So to bring them back for a well, free thing, to reskin them, to put new perks on them, it's fancy enough for new players to be like, oh, cool, I've heard about this for, mm-hmm. for ages, but I don't want to go back three DLCs to purchase that, you know? Um, so they'll get it there. But then with the new perks and, you know, flashing you, you know, those ornaments on it is amazing. Um, with those on it, that's fancy enough for us to go for them as well. So the, the, um, what, what we want out of it is there from, from both sides. Yeah. I think it's I'm not a raider. Or- Mm-hmm. I, mean, I know that you might sound really... I mean, you solo raid. <laughs> you are now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that you might are, seem really shocking. You are the raider of lore, Sammy, if anything. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't have a lot of raids. clears. Mm-hmm. Because I run a lot solo, mm. or I run low mans, or... I like to make things harder than they have to be in running with six people. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not a team player. Only here. slowing you down. Not only slowing player. me down. There's just too much going on. <laughs> like I'm doing a duo raid, two duo raids this week. Mm-hmm. And I'm doing all of that solo. But anyways, um, I do not raid a bunch to get those mm-hmm. weapons. I don't have the deep stone crypt sniper rifle. I have one and it's a terrible role because mm-hmm. I never farmed it. Uh, a lot of people I know, either they've never done a raid or they raid as much as they can. Uh, there's fire team finder now but still it's going to be exciting for people who don't have the ability to form teams of six Mm -hmm. to go in and get these weapons because they need a team of three yeah um i think it's exciting it's more accessible Mm -hmm. um so i have anxiety when it comes to rating Mm -hmm. so seeing a couple of really good weapons from the raid coming out so you can just earn it without having to get like five borders i think is really good because some people are like me right mm-hmm. like i have anxiety like with inviting people or getting people to do it or just even going to do it i love vow don't get me wrong it's my favorite raid but i still have anxiety doing it i don't it's still like a weird feeling that i have but i see that a lot of people are very hyped to get it mm-hmm. without having to do the grind or do the raid for it and stuff like even doing like the first like chest that takes forever Mm -hmm. you know like you don't get it guaranteed every time so at first i was skeptical about it but i think it's a good idea i i I like that they're bringing succession and i don't i don't have a succession either um so i don't have that crafted crafted i haven't done a deep stone in forever but um i don't know i I like that they're doing that i really do especially the like the shiny um situation i don't know Mm -hmm. too much about it but it it seems like it's a yeah I think it's a good idea. It's uh for me it's a no nonsense type of situation because here's what how I think about it. A lot of people are like, why would he bring that back? It's to make people interested in buying those old expansions. Mm-hmm. That's, That's a really good point. That's literally what it is. That's a it's I really like about that golden carrot of like oh see that weapon it's a really great weapon. There's more great because like. Uh, Deep, Deep Stone Crypt has the sniper, but the commemoration, I think, uh, the machine gun is also a really good weapon. Yeah. The scout rifle is one of the few scout rifles that is craftable, that is solar, and like so on and so forth. Like, there's a bunch of like really good other weapons, one or two. They're, not all of them are amazing, but still. So for them, it's like, here's the shiny thing you get, but hey, if you like that shiny thing, you can buy the expansion to get the other shiny things. And it's the same for Forbearance. So they went with like the really well-loved weapons for each of these uh, raids. And they were like, you get that for free. You can get like specific versions for it. But hey, if you like that, there's expansions you can buy to get more of those similar weapons. Because Submission, for example, Ron, amazing submachine gun, kinetic mm-hmm. submachine gun, right? Girl. And all of these things. So to me, I was like, oh yeah, marketing thing. It makes sense. Will they get it? Not mad at it. Get your money, Bungie. That's fair with me. That's mm-hmm. fine. Um, and then we go back to the hung jury being a stupid decision. But like, yeah, to <laughs> me, it's like, I fully get it. There are great weapons. And like Bona said, having the shiny and then the different perks on it also make it interesting for us. The grinders are the ones that already have the patterns to mm-hmm. be like, oh, you know what? I'll still go grind for another one because I want the, I want the shiny. I want the ornament. Um, so they kind of went like a double whammy on it in a really smart way. I think it was really well mm-hmm. done for them. 
and be like, okay, we're going to get the grinders, the veterans, the people that have already have these weapons. We're going to give you something more to get so that you do want to get them. And if you don't want to get them, that's fair. Whatever, it's fine. You already have them. But you want that specific version of it, go get it. And for the people that are new, they're coming back to Destiny because I've been talking to some friends of mine and I'm like, oh yeah, if you want to go back to Destiny, it's a really good time. It is a really good time. Mm. And it's like those returning players or those newcomers, they'll be like, oh, that's a really cool weapon. It looks really nice. There Are there more weapons? Oh yeah, there are more weapons. I'll go grab that, that expansion. Yeah. I'll go grab that thing, right? That DLC. So it was yeah. a very smart, very well executed move on their part on, in that regard. I, I wasn't think even thinking about that either. Yeah. But oh, it like is. That way. Thing I, thought, I saw those yeah. weapons. I was like, oh, marketing move. A, a lot that's of this right. that's, that's feels like that. Like, it's not, it's not yeah. like, it's, it's almost like a bald face marketing move. <laughs> like, to, to a certain extent. But you can't even but, be mad at it. Yeah, yeah I'm not mad at it. Like, because we're getting <laughs> right? stuff. We're getting stuff for, exactly. for free. Um, but exactly. the, I think, um, another thing that came to mind here, like, Folks will be able to like, uh, the you can skip the new light option. You now can have you can update your player look. You can up you get another credit yes. for your your bungee name. Things along those lines coming with all of this. But one thing that I would love to see in the future, like tied back to what you were saying, Seth, about like selling raids and and DLC. One package deal. I think I I think it is time. It has been yes. beyond time for quite quite yes. a while. To sell all the DLCs at a reduced price to allow Dan. people the more full experience of and you want to laugh Destiny yeah sure yeah the humble bundle thing they did a while ago yeah. right yeah that was it was like forty thing. bucks for everything like, yeah you want to know what I bought it yeah I have all the expansions I have all of them I have all the expansions on Epic and Steam I mm -hmm. still bought the goddamn bundle because I was like you know what. If I have to gift it to somebody or if I have to, whatever. Right? I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Especially as a either. content like, creator. Right. Like, I was like, you know what? I'm buying this right now. Let's go. And I, I, I'm like, I don't why care. are you making me bucks. question my past decisions? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what she does, man. Like, every fucking I'm day. Doing that, just... right? Um, but like, it's one of those things where I was like, oh, yeah. it's 30 bucks for all of it together. Yeah. That's never been as low as that on Steam ever. I'm buying this shit. I'm getting it. I don't care. And I'm like, they really need to do that. Like, yeah. especially when Final Shape drops. If by Final Shape they haven't consolidated everything into one bundle for like, I don't know, 60 bucks. Because I do believe it's worth 40 to 60 dollars. Yeah. There's enough content in that for that. Mm -hmm. um, between like those prices in between 40 to, 50 to 60 dollars. If they haven't done that, it is a stupid move on their part. Mm. And I'm talking like all the DLCs, the dungeon keys, uh, the Forsaken packs, all of the packs, the DLCs and the dungeons. All of it. One bundle, $60. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's it. That's all you have call, to buy. You have call to buy it the Light Saga bundle. Pack and be done with it. Something like that. Exactly. Just make it easy for people because how many times you guys as content creators, and I see it as a mod in like different channels also, like how, how many times do people come in and are like, hey, I see this game. I've played the free version of it. What should I get? Like, what do I need to buy? Because it is so confusing. And even mm -hmm. as somebody who owns all of these things, I don't mm -hmm. even, sometimes I have to sit and be like, okay, well, what do you want to do? Okay, you want to do that? Okay, then you should get that. But then if you also want to do this thing, you also need to get this thing. And then it becomes like super expensive for no reason. Sorry, Bungie. Love you. But like, this is ridiculous. Fix your shit. Um, and you're like, and they're like, oh, that's the price of it? That's really mm -hmm. expensive. They, they're they like, I can't really afford that right now. And it's completely fair because Dungeon Keys, DLCs. Mm -hmm. And like, then the economy that we have right now, the, and exactly yeah. right. You know what? Bunch will still make a shit ton of money if they do it at seven dollars <laughs> and seventy yeah. cent. Oh, then they've, then they've got their seven they... seven seven bullshit, right? Yeah. Seven dollars seventy seven cents. They'll make a shit ton of money. Just go and do it. Oh, there you go. How much money did they make from the humble bundle deal? And I not everybody bought mm -hmm. the humble bundle deal, right? Well, not say, a lot say of people humble bundle it. three times really fast. Humble bumble, humble humble bumble. Bumble. <laughs> humble bumble bumble. Yeah, but do they not do that before like a massive expansion, like at all? Nope. They drop the so, price. Nope. They put it on sale, but it's like so it's each yeah. previous okay. season I, is like cheaper and cheaper. I okay. think the the story so far pack that was available in Humble Bundle also <laughs> went to <laughs> you son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> also went to um, support the Bungie Foundation as well oh, because yeah. that is a big thing with fair. humble is that they yeah. uh they mm -hmm. they pushed that and it came that was a right around the the time of guardian uh a game to give as well 
So, yes, that was great timing, but it was yeah. really like I think Sammy was going to say that it was not advertised very well. Yeah. No, and that's one thing that I agree because often this is something that happens. Like there was a year, you know, like when they do the killed for kids. Mm -hmm. I always get those emblems because mm -hmm. I love those emblems. And there were there was a year where they mentioned it once, and then they mentioned it after it was done. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "What is this? Sorry, but shitty marketing thing that you did with that? Like, you know, people go like." foaming at the mouth for emblems, especially like- Oh my gosh, emblems, yes. Right? Like people just oh my go gosh, insane yes. for these emblems. And like, what are you doing? Not pushing that thing in our mm -hmm. faces all the time, especially when it's foundation stuff, because a lot of the Bungie community is like, foundation, I'm gonna throw my money at you. I get an emblem, let's go. Mm -hmm. It's like all of these things where I'm just like, why is your marketing not great? And like the humble bundle thing is the very similar thing where it wasn't super well advertised, I managed to see it somewhere on my Twitter feed. I think they mentioned it in like one twelve, maybe mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. at that. And that was it. And like, it was such a good deal too, because I'd never seen all of the stuff, all of the yeah. previous expansion stuff at this like low price. And it was for a good cause. Like you did, like you said, it was for the Bungie Foundation stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things where I'm like, you need to make money, Bungie. We all get it. We, we are fine with it to a certain extent you can make that happen and people will be like yeah i will buy this thing especially the newcomers that are like i want to get the things but i don't know what to get and you will just make money off of it mm -hmm. and throw fucking emblems in it as well and people will buy it again like as an emblem crazy. gremlin i would love that i love emblems. right it's one so of those i understand it's like, yeah the, that's why hype, they bring the in back the raid emblems mm -hmm. i want to like I'm ask about um when they when they first introduced like into the light the that cat the bobcat i think in mm -hmm. their logo is there mm -hmm. anything like to it or is that like new because that I, was I that was destiny years, one so. stuff that was, was, that was yeah destiny. i was wondering yeah. about that that was that I'm was like, destiny one stuff the weapons, we already it's have that emblem? New... the emblem em that they're emblem. Go going to be giving away for like the 15 minutes for next week that we're not even getting into we, the next week that there will be a uh a, a game watch play for final shape yeah final shape game so, um we're so not even getting out. into that but if you <laughs> so stressed out <laughs> but if you watch if you watch that for 15 minutes you get that you get that uh the i links um emblem which i believe was one back in destiny one uh toward oh, the end someone posted the emblem it looks pretty similar yeah it's it's yeah. it's from back in destiny one a lot of the the weapons from there's also a into shader Light, that is from like that yeah, super black. It's like the tiger stripe was, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Super black was that one was from back in D one. A lot of the weapon ornaments that you're seeing that are like the shiny versions, um, all of those I believe on the site have that little Lynx cat on it oh, as well. It's it's, a, okay. it's an old Destiny Destiny thing. Yeah, I didn't really play D one a lot, so mm -hmm. I don't know like anything about it basically. But there was a, I, I like it, you know. But there was a piece of key art that showed. Um, a uh what looked like a hunter with like its mat like a half mask and like its hair flowing in the wind and i want to say that right next to it was like a lynx cat oh um, so so there is like backstory basically to the this yeah like, there's like, there's mm -hmm. like a piece of key art okay that tie yeah, back like to it. it yeah it's it, all of this is a nostalgia play every every okay. aspect oh, of it one <laughs> it's, it's like <laughs> i haven't been nostalgia. here long you know just a few years so okay. i don't really know much yeah. hear me out hear okay. me out tinfoil hat time okay Ryan, where's your hat oh god let's go all right i don't know if you've noticed this a lot lately <laughs> but they've been doing a lot of maintenance on destiny one. Oh yeah like yeah. a ton of maintenance on destiny one and they're bringing back a whole bunch of stuff from destiny one and focusing a lot on destiny one stuff mm -hmm. and the story so why are they doing so much about Destiny 1 and working on the technical parts of it right now? You start asking questions, things will start to disappear. Yes, that is very true. <laughs> it, it's very bizarre that they keep talking about D1. They're talking about the nostalgia mm -hmm. factor. They're bringing back old stuff. And then here they are bringing down the servers, working on maintenance multiple times. Mm -hmm. I, have I a mean, feeling where you're going, but I don't want to say yeah. it. I know. I'm not yeah. saying it either. Yeah. <laughs> so 
I get where you're, you're I'm picking up where very you're subtly. Down. I'm <laughs> saying, I'm saying very <laughs> subtly what might maybe be in my thought process. So <laughs> subtly, what we'll do. <laughs> What we'll do, this will be the final question of this panel. Thank you all so much for like coming and joining me today. If there was one thing in Into the Light that's like just a small little piece of nostalgia for you, what would you be most happy to see brought into it? Ooh. That we don't know? That we don't know. So, Sammy, let's start with you. Oh, can we not? Okay, no. <laughs> let's start uh, with you. So, can it be like, okay, so whatever is not coming out right now, and something that I want from like Vault or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I want like a piece I of want, nostalgia. I'm a big. Since I've only been playing for like four years, mm -hmm. technically, I came through Shadow Keep. So okay. whatever was Shadow Keep to now, I pretty much played. Um, Reckoning. I want. Reckoning. Like Gambit Prime back, for example. We have not heard about Gambit in a very long time. Mm -hmm. I really yeah. want them to revamp it or do something with it. Otherwise, like it's practically dead at the moment. So if they brought back something similar to like Reckoning or some sort of piece, or like you know re revamping it, I think I think I would like that because I, I I'm a big fan of Reckoning and all that. So like I always uh, rep the Reckoner title, you know. So. I think that was a big part of why I played a lot too, is because I actually mm -hmm. enjoyed it. So I, I would like something similar to come back, and yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that that that's 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 it for me. <laughs> Incredible, that's a good one. I like that. All right, Sammy, are you? Yeah. Okay. Subtle calamity. All right. <laughs> All right, subtle calamity. I was I was My going baby. to ask you what bow you would want in the mix of all those weapons instead of hung bow. jury my baby <laughs> <laughs> my so child like spiteful fang ooh you know i no actually no <laughs> i no i don't think we need spiteful fang i love it i yeah. ran it all the time but I don't think we need it in the bow arsenal. Hmm. Which is very hard for me to say. Yeah. What, what <laughs> puts Subtle Calamity above for you? Subtle Calamity is above everything. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, can, you please tell, very... can you please tell Sammy I won't, I, I won't be talking to her anymore? Please. Thanks. <laughs> what? Oh, what? No. Sammy Bonner says... Oh, God. I can't he, we're not starting this, children. He please. thinks... He thinks um, that you're very, you're very great. That's Thanks, what he said. Donna. There is that. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Okay. I just have to address this. All right. I just need to put this out there. I do not only run boats. I know. And I do not always stick up for boats. The fact that we don't have a bow coming with Into the Light is okay with me. Only in the fact that eventually it will be in its own, you know, do turn. And we might get a cooler one. Spiteful Fang was great, but we have a ton of kinetic options for bows. We have a ton of kinetic mm -hmm. options. Um, we have a, a ton of lightweight options for that, that slot. So I love it. It's one of my favorites. I think it's my third most or fourth most used bow. Mm -hmm. um, but I think there are better options. And I think that that gives an opening for a better bow in the future. Heck yeah. And that's why Sammy Spiteful should be president. Mm. Oh, God, <laughs> Thank Drew. you. Yeah. <laughs> Bana, what about you, buddy? Um, yeah, Spiteful Fang. 2.0, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Oh, God. <laughs> well, no, in no, that no, case, no, no, hey, no, Dan, no, no, will no. you tell Bona? <laughs> oh, God, please, no. Bona, uh, Bona, Sammy says that they really enjoy how blurry your room is. I can, I can, yeah. I can change that. She, she has an issue with it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we... Will you tell Donut? Right now. All right, Bonna. Go. Oh, okay. Stop okay. putting words um, in my mouth. Okay. Okay. Come, come, come a little bit closer. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. 
It's a little bit close. It's too close. It's too, it's close. too close. close. I could tell no, that you didn't. Um, okay. Turn your nose um, that's my mustache going up. I need to okay, yep. grim it. Thank I get that too. Sorry. Thanks for calling me too. out in front of yep. my friends. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> years ago, before Outbreak Mission came out, they had said we would be returning to the old tower. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In what capacity, if that was just the Outbreak Mission, if that was us, and I don't know if you've noticed, the fires went out on the old tower to mm-hmm. like into for like after Forsaken, I think like after Shadow Keep, right? The fires went out, and you could start to see rebuilding over there. Yeah, right. So we've gone over. We've cleared out law wise what's happening over in the old tower. We're now getting the old tower back, as we've seen in the final shape mm-hmm. inside the Traveler. I don't really believe we've seen anything in the cutscenes about us hanging out at the new tower or speaking to Zavala at the new tower. Right. That we've known for the past, what was it, 27, you know, past seven years, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I'd be pleasantly surprised and almost ha, called it if at the end of Into the Light there is an event crow has disappeared right so he's gone mm-hmm. off right there'll be something that happens as there always is before a dlc drops there'll be some event and then the servers will be turned off mm. right for for the day or the week before mm. i would be pleasantly surprised but also say ha, called it if we return back to the old tower and that is our base of operations going along with a helm and I, i'm not going to say this because i don't know if it's a leak but you know other any other sort of locations or whatever <laughs> but being very there careful. we go we go back to the old tower at the end of into the light going into the final shape and mm-hmm. we have that in the final shape i would like that that would be dope Seth, what about you for me i mean i got two of the pieces of content that i really wanted which was mm-hmm. the two zero hour admission like a um, zero hour and um whisper that was like my biggest things for a really long time i think that what i would really like and again this is probably just not possible <laughs> mm-hmm. but um i really want the old planet bags like i'm i'm so sorry but i love those destinations mm-hmm. They were like my, uh, I call them, I'm sorry, I'm going to swear, but like they were my fuck around destinations. Like I, I would go to Titan when I didn't really know what to do and I would just go complete bounties on Titan. Or I would go on Mars and do kind of the similar thing or just go do um, the freaking, what was the public event? Um, Is it like extraction or something? Escalation. No, the ex- escalation, escalation protocol, right? I have Hivex on, on mine, but I think that was a dev call out. But whatever, yeah. um, escalation protocol, because for me, escalation protocol is far better than Altars of Sorrow. I'm sorry. That's just my own opinion about it. Oh, um, right. And I just like I the completely agree. of Mars, right? Like, yeah, to me, like, education protocol was just better overall. Um, mm. So, like, to me, I would love to see those things. I was looking back through old clips for something completely different. Um, yes, uh, over the weekend, I was like, shit, we lost so many things. Io. Io was a beautiful place, too. Mm-hmm. And all of these things related to it, the Pyramidian, the strikes, and all of these things. Like, I just... I want that content back. And if I can't get that, which I probably won't, crown. Give me crown. Give mm. me Leviathan. But give me old Leviathan. Make it its own bubble. I don't care. Give me Leviathan Raid. Give me Spire. Give me crown. Eater of World, even though it's more of a lair than an actual full mm. raid, but whatever. Eater I was loved great. Eater. I loved Eater. Eater was good, but like it was way shorter, right? And that's mm. there's nothing wrong with that. It just was really way shorter. But I love Spire. I love Crown. I love all of these raids, and I miss those raids. And they were, I was talking to people about that. They were like Leviathan itself, the first one, was a great kind of introductory raid, right? It was great to kind of get people like, here's how raids work in Destiny 2. And we lost all of that. And Crown is hands down my favorite raid uh, in the game. The current one that's still in the game would be King's Fall. But I miss those old raids. I miss being able to be like, oh, there's kind of not much to do. Let's grab a team of people, like people that just want to fuck around. Let's go raid. Let's go do these things. Because they're not extremely complicated raid, but they are mechanics heavy raid, mm-hmm. some of them. And I miss that. I miss the mechanics heavy raid where people had to do their job. <laughs> and like you had to have everybody on top of their shit because otherwise you wiped and start again. Um, I miss those things. Even Scourge, even if it was his own bubble thing, not as much as the other one, but like those are the pieces of content that 
I wish they would bring back because that is what made Destiny so great because these things were so fun, so enjoyable. The planets themselves with all the content around it, the story around it, bring back Red War for the love of God, please bring that back. Anyway, but all of these <laughs> older pieces of content that are in the vault that were lost that made the game so great, I wish they would bring it back in some way, shape, or form. I, I'm mm -hmm. on board with you on that one, yeah. It's like, that was the soul of Destiny, like that was the core of Destiny 2. Grading is like general. the top dog at Destiny, you know, you rated, you were Not anymore! Well, no, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, right. but back in the day, um, you know? Yeah, exactly. There, say like, oh, things. day one, and you know, get week one, and all that stuff too, so. End game yeah. content, and I wish they would bring it back because mm, that was so good. Yeah. But I probably will never get that back. But I'll just be happy with my zero R and my whisper and <laughs> hope that they haven't <laughs> messed it up too yeah. much. You know, like they made some changes, and I'm a bit wary about that. I'm like, Trevor, we'll see you now. What is the release period for those? So we are getting uh, whisper thanks to the uh, the into the light content release calendar by charlie jones uh from reddit oh. uh whisper mission is releasing on april 9th alongside the oh, on slight pve goodness. mode uh on you won't 4 30 will on I'm on so april 30th <laughs> on april 30th we'll have uh the pve challenge pantheon as well as uh the final batch of uh the brave weapons available so all of the brave weaponry will be available by the end of april on may 7th we get the outbreak mission and uh the new pv pvp maps and then about a month later just about a month later on the 4th of june we have the final shape so that's kind of what you're looking at for the next two i'm months. running out of time yeah it's you got 61 lot. days that's, that's as of recording it's 61 days two months tomorrow lot. In yeah. the month of May, it's just so much going on, especially with other There's games, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, once human, like, I'm playing that, too. It's, like, so much. Yeah. Um, I'm happy my main game is still Destiny. I just have... I can't even talk about it right now. I mean, he's yeah. like, oh, right now. He's like, oh, my I just God. have to get through Explicator, guys. Yeah, man. <laughs> and then, and then you have, uh, then you have then Whisper have to do to... next week. How am yeah. I going to yeah. get through Whisper with three bows in, what, 20 minutes? Oh, you, you'll be no, fine. Like, you, did, you, didn't you didn't have strand. You didn't have strand back then. It's yeah. fine. Legend yeah. But I'm not going to be using strand. Oh, yeah. But well, you have you have shit. eager edge. You have mo other movement tech that you can use I, at your disposal. I have to make exceptions for those. Mm, okay. Okay. Well, Sammy, 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 Sammy. If if you want, like back in the day when Whisper came out the first time, um, the one of the original devs for it, I I I knew back then also. And I was like, oh, can you help me with it? And it was like, until you can get the like traversal parts under 10 minutes, I will not help you. Once you get that done, I will help you finish the mission. And that's what I did, right? So if you want, I can, like, we can run it together just to get you, like, the whole traversal. If you can get the traversal under 10 minutes, you have more than enough time. Yeah. Because the new version of it will be 40 minutes long for yeah, the regular increase, version. Increase the timer. Oh, yeah. but I got to go in. Day one on Legend. Blind, yeah. I don't know if it'll be available day one. That remains to be seen. But still, um, if you can get if you can get the traversal under ten minutes, you have ten minutes to get, to do the boss. Now they've changed stuff, so maybe things mm -hmm. will be a little bit different. Yeah. I think you'll be fine though, especially yeah. the fact. The big I bow. only ever got to the boss twice, and other people had to complete it for me because I couldn't get through the jumping puzzle. Oh, did you not have Polaris Lance? I, I can help back you. in the day. <laughs> Polaris Lance. Oh my god. Well, so but yeah. I, I'm a much better jumper now. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, but to be fair, that's the thing. To me, Whisper is what taught me to jump in Destiny. Mm -hmm. That is like single handedly the, point. the thing that taught me to jump in this game because before that, I was bad. And my, my friend was like, Yeah, no, you got to get that part under 10 minutes, learn to jump, yeah. learn to do it. And after that, you'll be good to yeah. go. And that's how I learned to jump. It really is. So you, you can do it. I believe in you. Mm. You'll be fine. I could do anything after Explicator. Yeah. Yep, yeah, exactly. <laughs> anything I... will be smaller, you know. <laughs> just gotta get there. I th <laughs> gotta get there, guys. For, gotta get there. For me, if they brought something into, into light yes. that is just like a small thing, it would be craftable weapons in Garden of Salvation. 
Oh, I want yeah. those crafted. Yeah, that'd be that's be nice. That's a comfy like, thought. I feel that'd like they good. will, right? Have they talked about it at all? I thought that they had mm -hmm. at some point, but apparently not. They, they I haven't like about they that. Yeah, but I feel like in the final with... shape, they will or something. Yeah. Yeah. Because why wouldn't they? You but know, what if they move away from from, from crafted? crafted. It's yeah. More more and more that's you know, what it feels like it for, for raids but it's more yeah, I think about that. you know they may move away from crafters was like seasonal weapon mm -hmm. grind you know what i mean yeah. so yeah. i hope not though because every, everything else has craftable besides like vog right mm -hmm. for raid uh, yeah. vog is adept vog is adept yeah. Yeah. oh yeah have adepts, yeah. right it yeah. garden needs some love garden's like gambit no love at all you know um, yeah i freaking reckless that, oracle right? is a as a uh, hell of a gun. Weapons in that. My favorite hell of a gun. is in that. Oh, yeah. Like, Zealous Reward. Love yeah. That one. One Zealous of the best. Good, yeah. Chef's Kiss. Yeah. A crude redemption. That's exactly. Yeah. That's what it is. Crude redemption. That got me through so many solo dungeons. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it, like, I think it has some of the best weapons in the game, like from a raid. People and just don't it's think the prettiest about them raid. Anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, People that don't was like pretty. It. Just People letting don't like you know. It. That was pretty as well. Yes. Why is Val pretty? I like the dark. I like the creepiness. Like the pyramid uh aesthetic. I think mm -hmm. that's like my favorite. Garden's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I think Val and like that whole like lore base. I don't I don't know. There's like something about it that I, I love more. Mm -hmm. But um I also like root roots aesthetic too. That's why I like the new PvP yeah. map. Yeah, that out. new map is gonna beautiful. be cool. Yeah. So all right. Well, thank you guys once again for joining us uh, here on Destiny Digest this week. Thank you. Uh, thank why you. don't Why don't we go around and let you guys tell the folks at home where they can find you on the internet? Uh, nope. Why don't we start with you? Uh, okay. So I live on Twitter. So my my at is a uh, nope. So it's U H and K N O P E. Um, I also stream on Twitch, which is iNope. Um, I also have a TikTok, which is the Nope, and those are my main platforms I usually go on. Um, but thank you for inviting me on. I had a ton of fun. Thank Absolutely. You. It was wonderful to have you. Uh, Sammy, where can they find you? I am on Twitch as Sammy Cat, and then I am on Twitter slash X. I have a hard time saying the X. Yes. Um, as Sammy Cat plays. <laughs> the X is silent. Uh, I'm trying to get more into YouTube as well. So that's going to be Sammy Cat also. Heck yeah. Bana, what about you? Uh, yeah, damn well. I'm sure put the, you know, spelling in, in the thing because I'm a little bit more funny uh, with the spelling. But it will be in the in the description of everything but you can find me on every single platform and i stream on twitch monday to thursday with some other stuff throughout the weekend maybe and so you know yeah i'm always around heck yeah all right sarah we don't do this often but can you tell people where they can find you on the internet they don't need to find me on the internet <laughs> <laughs> she's just there watching Secret. judging I, I, yeah that's really what i do i'm in the background I'm in the shadows we're good with that uh <laughs> He can do the fair, blinds. I mean, the only platform, <laughs> the only platform I really use to like put put out content, and I do say like that with a with like huge quotation marks there, mm. um, is X technically, um, and it's the same name as Afa, so E S E I P H A, and that's it. Um, that's the only one I really use. Should use the freaking blue sky one more, but yeah. one day, one day, one day. That's what I keep one saying day. every time I open the app. Yeah, I know, right? 